Hi, this is Risa and welcome back to my book review series. I'm going to review another book by D. Vanny Kirk called Ribbon Embroidery and Stump Work. The reason I bought this book is because it contains over 30 flower designs and it combines ribbon embroidery and stump work. I ordered this book on her website and got a signed copy, which is very nice. The link for her website is below. The flower designs in this book are organized as a form of panels or projects that you can either embroider individually or as a whole panel like here, um, as uh, the book shows. I bought this book primarily to be able to see the individual flower designs for my own projects, which you can do as well. The book starts with the basics on how to enlarge and transfer the panel design onto fabric if you choose to embroider the whole piece. The pattern for the panel is included at the end of the book, which we'll get to later. Now these instructions on how to copy, print and transfer the pattern onto fabric I think are useful for any project really. I find the first two chapters of an embroidery book to be very useful. Take for example this page on needles. Here are the images of chenille needles that you will need for ribbon embroidery and it also covers a picture of cruel needle and um, tapestry needles and this is very useful to give you a sense of what these needles would look like. Then we come across a stitch gallery which is well illustrated and good for beginners to look at and then we move on to a chapter on stump work techniques again very useful if you're learning stump work now I have another stump work book and I must say that the quality of images and instructions in D. Van Niekerk's book on stump work is much better simply another gorgeous book by D. Van Niekerk now here's the full panel of the silk ribbon embroidery and what I wanted to show you were some pendants that I've already embroidered using the flower design inspirations from this book. Here's the first pendant. I created it with the delphinium design that's here in this panel so you can see it's a mini version of the delphiniums in this pattern. The second pendant is of the fuchsia which actually I was first attracted to when I saw a cover of this book as you can see here. The third pendant is of the iris you can't see it very well in this video and finally the fourth pendant I created is of the tulip at the bottom of the panel so you can see that you can create really cute trinkets and other projects uh, with the help of this book. I will be uploading stitch long videos for these four pendants on my channel so do subscribe so you can get notified when they're up live. The chapters that follow then refer to the panel that we just saw and they cover each of the flower designs with great images and instructions. So I'm not going to go over all of the projects and panels with you, just wanted to flip through so you get a sense of what it includes. So here's the delphinium design here. Now I just wanted to say that in my stitch along you'll see that I don't necessarily follow the stitch instructions that are given for this delphinium. I had my own technique that I use so you can either follow the instructions in the book if you have this book or follow on with my technique in the stitch along video. Here's the design of the iris that I embroidered for this particular pendant here. Here are some of flowers that's covered. Uh, I like the way she combines stump work and ribbon embroidery. This is my favorite, absolute favorite. Here is the pendant that I adapted from the design and I used silk ribbons instead of the organza that's um, proposed in the book. Here's a stump work that I am looking forward to actually stitching as a pendant and finally here is the design for the red tulips. Again I didn't have the beads um, so you can watch my stitch long video to see how I replaced the beads. Now here is a stump work of a butterfly that is equally exciting to embroider and I plan to try and fit it into a smaller pendant and these pendants I've ordered from Noon Design 
These pendants are much smaller than the oval pendants that I've just completed. It's going to be a challenge to try and fit those tiny butterflies in here, but I'm going to try. Do follow me on Instagram to see um, if I've succeeded or subscribe to my YouTube channel to watch the stitch along. Finally, I wanted to show you the actual pattern that's in the book so you can actually iron or um, the full pattern or trace the whole pattern yourself or parts of it to make the pendants like I did. I find this a wonderful book to get if you're interested in ribbon embroidery. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to click on the subscribe, like and notification buttons to get updates on my latest videos. Bye bye.